a roux lab practical. Now a roux is used to thicken different types of sauces and there are different types of roux. We're actually going to go through all different types of those roux today. We're going to start with a white roux, move to a blonde roux, and then end with a brown roux. We're going to show you those different steps, the different stages of the roux, and what you're looking for so you know you're at each of those stages. To start off, I have a small skillet here and I'm going to add in one fourth cup of butter and I'm going to let this completely melt. Once this is completely melted, my next step is to add in my flour. Now while doing this, I want to make sure that I'm using a whisk because I need to make sure that I'm vigorously stirring that liquid. So I'm melting down my butter here and I'm going to be adding in my flour. Now. The first process or the first stage of a roux is going to be a white roux. Now a white roux is used in things like an alfredo sauce or cream based sauce usually, something that's going to be white in color. Melt down all of our butter here. And then we're ready to add in our flour. For our flour we're going to be using one fourth cup of flour. Okay. So not only is our butter melted, but it's also got some bubbles in it, which means and tells me that I'm ready to start adding in my flour. I'm going to add in that flour and then give it a nice stir. Now, while I'm starting with my roux here, what I need my other partner to do is I need them to prep my beef broth so that I am ready when I get to the brown roux stage. So that other partner is going to be getting one cup of water into a liquid measuring cup, and you need to make sure that this is very hot water because we're going to be adding beef bouillon to it and that needs to be able to be melted down and to create a beef broth. So I've got my hot water already prepped. Again, your partner should be doing this while you are making your roux. And then they're going to add in one packet of beef bouillon and that's going to turn it down into um, the beef broth. Now, you can see my roux here is really, really bubbly. I'm gonna actually turn my heat down a little bit, but it's quite thick and it's going to actually start to get a little bit more liquidy as we go through this process. And you can tell that it's starting to turn into a little bit of that yellow or golden color, which tells me that we're approaching that blonde stage. We're getting a little bit past here, the white roux stage, and we're getting more towards that blonde roux stage. So we'll show you what that looks like here in a second. nutty popcorn-y kind of smell going on. You can also see in certain areas it's starting to get a little bit brown. That tells us that we're getting close to that brown stage. At this point, if your partner does not have your brown um, beef broth ready, you need to make sure they have get that done immediately because coming up here really soon, we're going to have to add that in. We're going to continue to cook this until it gets to that brown roux. We're going to add our beef broth and that's going to get served over a, pack, or a, um, a little hamburger patty. So as we cook a little bit longer, you'll get to see that brown roux. brown color. It's got a really, really nutty um, kind of dark aroma. We're ready to add in our beef broth. Now as I'm adding this in, I need to be whisking vigorously because it's going to really thicken up quick. And then it's going to get liquidy. I'm going to continue to cook this over the heat until it really thickens up like a beef 
type gravy. In the meantime, you can go ahead and cook your hamburger patty. And as this thickens up, we're gonna serve that as a gravy over the top of our seasoned hamburger patty. You can see it's already starting to thicken up. It's bubbling quite a bit. That roux is doing its job to the beef broth. And we are getting a nice gravy here. Making sure you're whisking consistently so that we don't have anything burned to the bottom of our pan. And that is really getting thick quickly. We wanna make sure we're keeping it on the heat because the heat is gonna to help to thicken that up. Once it's done thickening, then we're ready to take it off of the heat. That looks really good. We've got a nice thick gravy here, but it's not too thick and we don't want it to be a paste. We just want it to be a nice gravy. Smells of beef. We're gonna go ahead and turn our heat off. I'm gonna take it directly off of the burner and your beef gravy is done. Go ahead and serve it over your hamburger patty. Enjoy. All right, we've hit that brown roux stage. You can see that nice brown color. It's got a really, really nutty, um, kind of dark aroma. We're ready to add in our beef broth. Now, as I'm adding this in, I need to be whisking vigorously and then it's going to get liquidy. I'm going to continue to cook this over the heat until it really thickens up like a beef type gravy. In the meantime, you can go ahead and cook your hamburger patty. And as this thickens up, we're going to serve that as a gravy over the top of our seasoned hamburger patty. You can see it's already starting to thicken up. It's bubbling quite a bit. That roux is doing its job to the beef broth. And we are getting a nice gravy here. making sure you're whisking consistently so that we don't have anything burned to the bottom of our pan. And that is really getting thick quickly. We wanna make sure we're keeping it on the heat because the heat is gonna to help to thicken that up. Once it's done thickening, then we're ready to take it off of the heat. All right. And that looks really good. We've got a nice thick gravy here, but it's not too thick and we don't want it to be a paste. We just want it to be a nice gravy. Smells of beef. We're gonna go ahead and turn our heat off. I'm gonna take it directly off of the burner and your beef gravy is done. Go ahead and serve it over your hamburger patty. Enjoy.